Hello YouTubers. I am quite excited at the moment. I've been keeping an eye on the CES show in Las Vegas because before Christmas Kodak were talking about this big reveal that they were going to do at the show um, about their new um, Pocket HD camcorder. Apparently a couple of months ago uh, they held a competition to name the new uh, Pocket HD camcorder and that they would, when they revealed it, they would say who won and what it was called. Now, it has been brought to my attention by um, some people on YouTube and actually seeing it in, seeing the camera got me really, really excited. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the Kodak website. And there you got the ZI8 and the ZX1, the ZI6, which they're still selling. I actually did think about getting a ZI6, uh, to be honest, because I thought it looked like quite a nice piece of kit. Um, some of you might think I'm a bit crazy, but there you go. And then as we pan across, there it is, the Kodak PlaySport. Now this is the UK, UK um, website. So there it is, lovely picture there of the Kodak Play Sport. Now I don't think it actually says on the website that it's called a ZX3, but some people have been calling it a ZX3. Um, and there's another lovely picture. Oh yes, it does look like a really nice camera. Um, and you can get like various different colours. I love the blue colour. I think the blue colour is really, really nice. Um, now, as far as specifications are concerned, they don't really. I mean, they've got like the overview, which you can look at on their actual actual website, and it sort of talks about the specifications and that. And there's some of the colours. Oh yeah, they're lovely. And um, you know it. It seems to me that it is, it's like they've got the innards of the ZI8 and stuck it in a waterproof case. I mean, that, that's all the specifications they give you on the actual website. Um, so I had to have a look around to see if I could find uh, a better set of specifications. Now I found this website and it's called Photo XLs and it gives a really good review of the Kodak Play Sport. I mean, there's the blue. I really love that blue colour. I think it's blinking well nice. Here's the specifications. I've tried to fit it in as best I can. Um, basically, you've got it's. You can use it in up to ten feet of water. As far as what I've seen in these specifications, and what I've seen on YouTube and other reviews, they've taken away the external mic. I think they've taken away the autofocus. They've got rid of the USB dongle. You you can still hook in a USB. Whether you can um, power it on the mains or not, I don't know. You can use up to 32 gig of memory, and one of the, one of the cool things is that the LCD screen. Okay, it's a little bit smaller, but when you're underwater or you, you you're sort of getting a bit of it's a bit bright on the screen. You can actually change the screen to black and white or sepia so that you can see the picture better, which I think is really cool. Uh, when you're when you're filming or taking a picture, it doesn't change the colour on the actual video. So you're still filming in colour, but you're seeing it in a sort of better colour on the screen so you can actually see it, which I think is really groovy. Now it seems to me there's a lot more to this camera um, that is available on the internet. I mean basically what we need at the moment is somebody to actually get one of the units and do a, a full-fledged review on it because I suppose all that people can see at the moment is what Kodak have said themselves and what they've seen in the show and specifications that Kodak have given out so until the actual units are made available for people to review then it's going to be a sort of bit hit and miss but I, I think it looks really nice and from what I've seen of the specs, it is more or less identical to what the uh, ZI8 can do. 
and it's cheaper. Uh, in the US, I think it's $149, and over here in the UK, it's £129. Now, it's going to be available in the US in April, and I'm not sure when it's going to be available in the UK or Europe, which is a bit of a bummer, to be honest, because I think it looks like a really nice piece of kit, and I'd really like to get my hands on one of them, because if if they've been we've been saying that the low light is um, really really good and if that's true and if they fix the other issues that the ZI8 had then this camera is just going to be you know outstanding I mean what what I'd really love is to have the ZI8 for me vlogs and then have the play sport for me outside videos I mean, okay, I would miss the external mic, but it seems that the other features that it's got sort of outweigh that. But then you sort of think, well, are they going to bring out a ZI-10, which is going to be even better than the ZI-8? But, I mean, I, I would really like to get older one, to be honest, just to see if the low light is as good as what they say it is. Yeah, so that's the Kodak Play Sport. I thought I'd sort of do a video to let you all know that I'm excited and um, it, it looks like a really nice camera. I think if you like the ZX-1 then, and the ZI-8 then you're going to love this camera because I think it's sort of like a combination of the two. They've taken all the best bits out of the two and put it into this camera and it does look really nice. I'm still really impressed with the ZI-8, still think it's the best thing since sliced bread. I think that the PlaySport might contend with the ZI-8 but we'll have to see when it's available and people get it and test it. Um, I'm really looking forward to reviews and I, I really want to sort of see the low light capture for the PlaySport but you know I think it looks like a really nice camera. So there you go, that's my little video, hope you've enjoyed it. The information that I've got is from the internet, uh, Kodak's website and um, Photo XL's website. I'll put a link in the description box. Okay, that's enough from me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Have a nice day and I'll do another video later on. Okay then, bye bye.